Welcome to our second video of our Plotly crash course. And in the first video, we took care of the data. So now it's time to move on to our first charts with Plotly Express. As you can see by the document, we still have some way to go, but we'll start slow with the basics and I'm sure you'll be able to follow along. We're going to start by using Plotly Express. That will give us a head start in understanding how Plotly works. It's very easy to adapt the code. So we're going to navigate to their page and we're going to look for scatter plots, which is this one. And over here you have the first example. So it's very simple. You just import Plotly Express and you create a variable called fig, so short for figure, px.scatter and let me zoom in just a little bit. px.scatter x and y and it will create a scatter plot. There's more advanced stuff. Take a look around and see the other examples, but we're going to start simple. We're going to start with the first one. And for the first one, I'm going to get a data frame with uh, just Europe and 2007. And we're also going to have the fig as we've seen. So that's scatter df x is going to be the GDP per cap. And the y, whoops, is going to be the life expectancy. So we have the data frame here and we're using the initial one so i'm going to i'm going to keep loading this um, and get the exact data i want to show so we have the data frame here europe 2007 we call this figure and now we show it there it is so right out the out the box just one line and you have a really fancy chart which is interactive and if you hover on the data points, you kind of see what's what's that. So double click to zoom out. And this is the Plotly chart. It's very nice features. You have these buttons here. So it's kind of fancy compared to Matplotlib or Seaborn. Okay, so let's let's start adding something else. So I'm gonna copy the exact same thing. I'm gonna paste it here and I left a link here for you to have a look. This link, I want you to save this link because it's going to be very important. It has the, what's it called, the high level interface um, right here. So it's the high level interface for data visualization and what it is, um, it gives you all the properties that you can um, mess around with, so to speak, uh, on each plot that you can have with Plotly. So we're looking at scatter and I'm going to click this and we're going to have, I want to add, um, I want to add some more things on the, on the hover labels. So this blue square that shows up and I want the dots to have a size according to the GDP or maybe the population. So, okay, let's see how we can find these properties that we can edit. So we can go over this page, control F, and I'm going to search for so size. That's an easy one right here. So you're going to use size for the dots. The others, I think it's hover, hover name, hover name and hover data. So I'm not going to read all this, but you, you, you'll see how it works. But you have the full description here if you want to read further. So I know the names of the arguments that we're going to pass. 
So the size is going to be pop from population. The color is going to be country. And the hover data, let's see. Let's use ISO alpha. That's a three letter code for each country. And we're going to need the country label somewhere and we're going to use hover name this will be country as well so you can you can repeat things as long as they're not contradicting each other well wait what happened well actually this one is going to have to be a list exactly so now we have a nicer version of our first chart so each bubble is sized according to their population to the country's population you can see Netherlands here very small and so as you add some arguments here on the scatter plot you can customize a few things but you cannot customize everything so, and I mean like the font size and and uh, other kind of font related customization. You're you'll be better off using um, graph objects. So that wasn't too complicated. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel. I'll see you in the third part.